What's up YouTube, Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this team in front of us. This team was actually used to win first place in the Oceana International Championship. So link to the winner and the creator of this team will be in the description below. Definitely go check them out. And my first impression on this team right here is it covers a lot and it looks very, very strong. You have that Whimsicott Draco Fish combo right there. You guys already know the deal with that. You get the speed bone. Draco Fish is going to be able to do some work with that Fish's run. We have this Duraldon over here with an Assault Vest. And look at his coverage moves. It has Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, and Body Press. Just covers so much, but he, he has the Assault Vest, not the Life Orb, which at first I was like, wait a minute, why isn't he rolling out with the Life Orb? I, I think he should have the Life Orb. But now looking at the team a little bit more in depth the whimsicott has faked here so we're going to be able to drop the special defense so we don't even need the life orb once we get the uh, special defense drop our dural down will just be able to roll out we have the sylveon over here with that pixie plate and pixelate as its ability with hyper voice yawn for the sleep quick attack for first turn priority and protect we also have the conqueror with the first turn priority move so these pokemon can uh, come up late kind of pick up a ko with that first turn priority move Alcador also has Drain Punch and Ice Punch with Guts and the Flame Orb. So once you get those Guts triggered, you will be able to roll out and deal some big damage. Then in the final spot, we have this Rotom. Rotom with two stab moves with a Thunderbolt, Overheat, Protect, and Dark Pulse for coverage. Guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. And let me know for question of the day, would you guys like to help me build some teams for Season 3? Because I have a lot of team ideas, I just don't really have the time. So if you guys are interested in that, hit me up on my Instagram page at jeans underscore YouTube. DM me, be like, yo, jeans. I'm down. I want to help you out building teams. If you do not have an Instagram page, just say something in the comment section down below. We will figure something out. Also, if you do enjoy the content at any time, you guys already know the deal. Support channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it helps out a ton. You guys have no idea. But guys, let's hop in to some rank battles and try to get some wins with this first place team. Match number one on its way. This guy has a Draco Fish of his own, so we're going to see a little bit of Draco Fish mirror match up here. I can see him bringing it in the back. I am probably going to bring mine in as well with that Choice Scarf. Going to come up big. But I think we're going to go Whimsicott Sylveon just to get that lead going. We'll go Whimsicott Sylveon. We'll bring Draco Fish in the back end. And then who's going to be our final Mon? I think Duraludon's going to come in here. He does work. He has a lot of coverage here. And I think he's our best bet. I think he is our best bet. I mean, like, we have Ice Punch on our Conkledor. Which could be nice, but it's not stab. We don't really need fire here. Except for, like, we can take out the Whimsicott in a different way. I think we're chilling. I think we're chilling with the Raldon as our final spot. He's just such a good mon. You gotta kind of bring him in here. But, guys, you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four-plus days every single week. You guys just want to come hang out, have questions and stuff, just head over there. Ask me in the chat. I'm live four days every single week. So just turn on those notifications. You won't miss them if, the, if you turn on your notifications. They'll just pop up your big like, yo, Jeans is live. Let me hop in there and hang out with them. I'll be like, yo, dude, what's up? <laughs> but I'm hoping we can actually get a win in our first battle with this team. I like the fish. I do really like the fish. Maybe I should have let him. That could have been huge. But he goes Sandaconda in the Dragon Pult. He goes Sandaconda in the Dragon Pult. Um, do I Tailwind? Like, he's going to have a speed advantage, I think, regardless. So I think I just faked here. The what's it called? I honestly think I just faked here to Sandaconda. And then I can just go straight into a Hyper Voice, which will be super effective against the Dragapult. Do some big damage on him and potentially KO the Sandaconda, as he will be fake tiered as well. Like, fake tiers is so good. Drop in the special defense by two? Like, come on, dude. That's big. That is big. That is why I said, like, the round on doesn't need the life orb when we have fake tiers on the Whimsicott. Like, we'll just drop the special defense and just put a different item on and use it better. Fake tiers pop. Let's go. I should be faster than the Sandaconda. I should be faster than the Sandaconda. I think he was maybe predicting me going into. That's totally fine. You go into that. I think that's totally fine. We might be able to just punk on the Sandicon here. We do outspeed. Dragon Pole avoids it. And here comes our Hyper Voice. How much damage are we going to do this thing? Oh, so close. So close. And Glare is going to come in here and paralyze my Sylveon probably. Is that the call? No, my Wimscott. That's totally fine. I'm going to see if I can get a Tailwind set up and then roll into another Hyper Voice here. It hits through Protect. So, bump, 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 Tailwind. And then we could just go for a Quick Deck. Or I think Hyper Voice is our best bet. Because Dragon Pole is going to go first. I think Dragapult will still outspeed my Sylveon, even if it's in a Tailwind. We'll see. We'll see. I hope he does. Nope, Sylveon does go first. Wow. Okay, that, that's that's still fine. That's still fine. Hyper Voice pops. We're going to be able to take out the Sandicana. All he got is a little Paralyze on us. But it's good to know that we do outspeed for next turn, and the Phantom Force is going to fly. Sylveon, eat this up, girl. Yes, sir! Sylveon coming up big, eating that one up. And I think we're chilling here. He's going to lose some HP. I think my Sylveon should be the fastest on the field now, unless he brings out a Tailwind user of his own. Or someone with a first turn priority move. Let's see. Duraldon comes out here. 
I'm gonna fake tier the route on. I think we can get a potential double KO here. And Sylveon could set up big. Set up big. No, not protect. We want fake tiers once again. Because we have the Tailwind set up. We're gonna outspeed the Dragon Bolt. And Hyper Voice is gonna fly through. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I think we can actually KO the, the, the route on here with the fake tiers on it. Unless he D-maxes, which I could potentially see him happening. But we do have that fish in the back. Fish with that choice scarf will totally outspeed the, the route on. Even though it's not, it's gonna be a not very effective fish's rend. We could still do big damage with it, or we could just roll into a strong jaw crunch. That's why I like about Draco Fish's ability is strong jaw. It just rolls out, does bigger damage with bite moves. But he is gonna Dynamax. We are gonna see a Dynamax from the route on. But something that I did not mention yet is I gotta show off the second and third place team of this Oceana International Championship because they both had a Gord Geist on the team. And I was like, where did that come from? A Gord Geist? Like, that is crazy. It's like, we never see him on the rank line. Like, I've been playing uh, actually a good amount for the past three seasons. I haven't seen one Gore guys, and now all of a sudden, he's placed second and third in a big tournament? Like, that's crazy. I cannot wait to actually check out one of those teams and see how it goes. But we do take out the Dragon Bolt. That was my plan. Did some big damage to that Dynamax route on. That would have maybe KO'd him if he was regular, but it's fine. It's fine. He's going to take out my Sylveon. He's going to take out my Sylveon. I'm going to roll in with it, the route on of my own here. Or do I roll in with the fish? I could just roll in with the fish. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Do I roll in with the fish? I say we save the fish for the end, as he's going to be Choice Scarf, and he can potentially come in here and do some big work. I'm going to go in with my Duraludon. D-Max my Duraludon, and see how we're going to roll out from there. Duraludon, get in here, my boy. He's going to roll in with his Draco Fish. Um, we might be able to outspeed. We have the Tailwind up, but I got to uh, do some work on him. He's got to be Choice. He's got to be Choice. Uh, there's no need to fake to him. I'm just going to throw a Moon Blast at him, in case he doesn't die to whatever we're going to throw. We're going to throw a... Do we Worm Wind? Do we Knuckle? Uh, no. We're not going to Knuckle. That's not going to do anything for us. I'm just going to Worm Wind here into the Draco Fish. I'm just going to double into the Draco Fish and then if we do not kill him with first turn move, which I think we will. If we get the Max Worm Wind, he's definitely dead. But it will just slide over to the Duraludon. So we're sitting in a nice little spot here. I do not think his Draco Fish is going to protect. He has to be either Choice Scarf or Choice Band. Like, those are like the top two items on a Draco Fish. They're always Choice. They're always Choice. Or that big damage or that extra speed boost in order to get the KOs. Let's go. Big boy the Raladon. Is he I don't think his G-Max form is in season three. I know a lot has been added. Like Orbeetle's coming in. Toxtricity is gonna be legal. Who else there? Uh Kingler. Kingler's coming in. We do have speed. We're gonna be able to take out the uh Draco Fish here. Draco Fish is gone, and we're sitting in a nice spot. We have hours in the back, which I know will have to be this Duraludon. We can go into a strong draw crunch, do some damage. We drop this thing's attack, but it doesn't matter. He's special attacking. Match one is looking pretty for us, guys. Whimsicott, no! Paralyzed Whimsicott. Steel Spike's gonna come in here. Trigger our Sash. Right, we're sashed here. Yeah, we're sashed. This Whimsicott is sashed. I really do like the Rotom on his team as well. We don't have him in this matchup, but I really do like that Rotom. Like, Rotom's just always such a good Pokemon. Either the Heat or the Wash. Like, any form of Rotom is solid. And that's a fact. That is a fact. Um, I'm gonna actually fake Tears thing once again and just finish this game. And just finish this game off here. We'll roll into a stab max worm win. And just say, GG, baby. Get out my face. He'll be minus four on the special defense board. But he's just going to cancel the battle. And match one goes to us. Let's go, dude. This team is nice. This team is nice. I feel like if you really learn it and sit down and kind of learn everything about it, you could totally dominate like the guy who won the tournament. Okay, so for the second battle, this guy has a Sandstream team right here. Has the guy on with Storm Drain. He's got to be bringing that. For the fish i might not even bring the fish i feel like i'm just gonna have the fish here just as like a threat i feel like i'm gonna need speed maybe does anybody have fake out on this no he's not a fake out user you can see him leading the kiss I totally see him leading that toby kiss um i might just go to Raladon here the Raladon into rotom for that levitate for the ground moves and then conqueror or sylveon here conqueror or the sylveon i feel like conqueror can do some work like Conqueror can potentially do some work here. Has that Ice Punch and that Flame Orb for that Guts. So we're going to roll out with this team. Try to show off these other two Pokemon the, with the Rotom and the Conqueror. But I'm actually really happy with how my face cams actually turned out. Because I've always been like hard on myself for like, oh, I want like the clearest, the best quality and all that. And I feel like I never really got it with my webcam. But since I changed up my room, I changed up where my lights are as well. And I feel like that helped out like tremendously. I really do think it did help out a lot. So, I'm hoping my face cam does look clear to you guys, and hopefully the content has been better on the channel. But, Tokus and the Mimikyu comes out here. We go to Radadon Whimsicott. Radadon Whimsicott. Uh, do I set up the Tailwind? Yes, sir. Tailwind's gonna pop out here. Um, I'm gonna Dynamax right off the bat. I'm gonna Steel Spike. 
I'm gonna sp steal Spike the Togekiss, and then eventually I'll double into the Whimsicott. This thing could be Babiri Berry. I think he might be, he could be Scope and Super Luck too as well, and he might Dynamax here. Let's see, maybe I should've just faked here and went after it. Get him! Get that Togekiss! <laughs> Is he gonna swap any Pokemon? That's my question. He's not Dynamaxing, but it's the Togekiss and the Mimikyu should be faster than my Duraldon, so their animation would would have went first. And we get our Duraldon up and big, ready to go, trying to get this win here. I, I'm trying to think what he might do. He might swap. He might swap into the extra drone to be able to beat up the Steel Spike. Let's just see. We're gonna have the Tailwind up here. Is he gonna roll Trick Room? That's my question. Hopefully my Duraldon does go first now in the Tailwind and potentially take out this Togekiss. Yes, he does. Is he Babiri Berry? No Babiri Berry is going to pop. It's got to be Super Luck or something along this line. Big damage coming out here. Bye to the Tokus right off the bat. I wonder what he was going for. I really do wonder what he was going for. We get the defense boost, which is going to be huge against this Mimikyu. And is this thing a Trick Room user? I've been seeing a lot of Mimikyu Trick Room users in recent games. To play rougher. To play rough. We're special attacking. We're special attacking. Is that the move? No. Foul play? No, it's foul play. Never mind. Never mind. I, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Foul play and play rough are two different things. The T-Tar comes out here. Uh, potential Dynamax from the T-Tar. I'm going to fake tier. I'm going to fake tier this little boy. Sandstream is going to pop. I should have the speed advantage on him, so I am going to fake tier him. Is he going to protect? No, not a chance. Uh, and then we're just going to go into a, another Steel Spike. Booster defense stab steel damage with the fake tier minus two. Unless he protects. Ooh, ooh, that would hurt. He might actually protect because this thing could potentially be weakness policy. Or it could be Lumberry. Either or. He's going to Dynamax. He is Dynamaxing. So this could be big. This could honestly be big. Um, What move do I think he's going to go into? So he probably has Max Rock Ball. And, uh, Max Darkness. What was uh, what moves do they usually roll? It's Max Rock. It's a, it's a Rock move. It's a Dark move. He has a Protect probably. And maybe a Brick Break. He might have a Brick Break. A Knuckle on him. But let's see what happens here. Fake yours. He does not go into... Oh, dude. It doesn't affect him. I'm dumb. I should have known that. <laughs> I should have known that one. <laughs> The seal site comes in here. He's got to be weakness policy. Man, dude, I really want that big tier. I really do want that big tier. But we're plus two on the defensive board. Is he weakness? Show me he's not. Yes, he, he is. This could be dangerous. This could be dangerous, guys. What's he going to roll into from here? We have the plus two defense, which isn't bad. And this thing's going to play rough over on my Whimsicott. Whimsicott's going to be able to eat that one up. I'm going to take off that thing's disguise after this with the Moon Blast. Coming hot. What's the T-Tar going to roll in here? Max Knuckle. We should be able to eat this up. Not stab. Plus two on the defensive board. Yeah, all dead. All dead. And we're going to plus three on the defensive board. Because now he's plus three on attack. So we're going to have to kind of keep counteracting that. Rather scary. Rather scary. Definitely take off the disguise of the Mimikyu. Steel Spike coming in hot. Or do I read this? Do I read a guard coming out from this fool? And just dump on the Mimikyu? That would be type nice. That would be type nice. But no, I'm going to keep the pressure on this thing. I'm going to keep the pressure on him. Super effective. Another steel move. This thing is a bulky T-Tar right here. Very bulky T-Tar. Kind of do wish I brought my fish in now. <laughs> Moonblast comes in. He's going to take off the Disguise. He does not max guard, so it's nice. Disguise is gone. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. We will get the speed advantage. I'm hoping my Whimscott can survive one more turn and we can potentially get a, up another Tailwind, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Actually, if we protect next turn, it will happen. So, nice damage onto this T-Tar here. One more might be able to take it out. I don't see him taking out my Doral down here unless he doubles in. Because we are tied on the defense board. Then I can get off another... I can get off a Flash Cannon after this, which will be nice. Play Rough's going to pop here. Is he going to take us out? Does not. Oh, the, the thing's going to take us out. He has Life Orb. The buff is going to take us out. Max Knuckle flying in. Going to my Wimscott? Maybe, please? Nope, my Doral down. My Doral eats it, though. We have one more turn left in a Tailwind. So I, I think I'm going to roll into my Conqueror here and double into this boy. And double into this T-Tar. Tell him to get out of here. Tell him to go home. Get out of here. Because I don't think he's going to max guard here. I really do not think he's going to max guard here. He actually might because we have one more turn left in the Tailwind. Let's get our Conqueror in here and save our Rotom for the back end. Just have him chilling back there. Just have him chilling back there. Conqueror, get in here, my dude. Get in here, my dude. Um, I could go Drain Punch into the, what's it called? Into the Conqueror. Or not the Conqueror, the T-Tar. I said we do double up. Do we really think he's a Max Harden? Hmm. Oh, dude, I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go this way because maybe a Drain Punch might be able to take out. Let's see. Flash Cannon does roll out here, so we'll take out the Mimikyu here. Mimikyu's gone. I'm hoping this Drain Punch can do some work. I think the T-Tar might go before us, even though it's a Tailwind. Let's see what happens here. 
No, he does not. Jenny Punch comes out. Show me the KO. Show it to me. Let's go, dude. Let's go. See, I was thinking, I was like, I was like, a physical attacker could probably take out this uh, Doraldo. And this Commodore is an absolute beast. He's an absolute beast. So the Drain Punch gets the KO. The Doraldo picks up the KO on the Mimikyu. And now we're sitting pretty here. No more Tailwind. And our guts are triggered. Our guts are triggered. What is this? This is 3v1, right? Yeah, 3v1. We have this Commodore coming out big, dude. Taking out that weakness policy, boy. And this is the extra drill. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mock punch to take off the sash. And then uh Yeah, I'm gonna mock punch take off the sash. If he is sash, he might be sash. And then a body press coming in hot. Body press coming in hot. He might just cancel the battle. This thing does outspeed though. But not that mock punch. Ooh, guts mock punch coming up big. That's a big damage. High horsepower is gonna take out my Duraldon. And a mock punch is gonna end the game. Let's go. 2 0 with this team. Two in a row. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. This team's really good. It's really good. Once you kind of like start to figure out everything. Because I was looking at this team before I even played it. I kind of hopped on a few casual battles. And I think I lost one, but it was it was against a meta relevant team. It's against a nice trick room team that kind of threw me off a little bit. But let's see, let's see. We have the Rotom in here. Rotom's gonna chill here. How bad do I throw him off here with the protect? <laughs> Watch this. How bad do I throw him off? I'm gonna just overheat it and end it on a big note. Or is he canceled? He's gotta be canceled. No, he does not. I hope he goes after my Commodore. Let's see. Do it. Do it, buddy. All right. He rock slide it. Okay. I could just mock punch. I'm kind of just toying with this dude. I deserve to lose now. That's big damage to the Rotom. Rotom, don't flinch. Yes. Rotom doesn't flinch. And the overheat will end it. I love how overheat looks. Just a big flames go all across the battlefield and just mercs on somebody. It's big damage, but it does drop your special attack a lot. But GG to this guy. Let's hop into our third and final battle and try to get another win with this first place team. Going up against a little bit of mirror matchup. He has three of my six Pokemon on him. He has my Fish, my Whimsicott, and my Duraludon. I can see him leading the Hitmon top for potential fake out and try to take out my Whimsicott. But I'm protecting my Whimsicott, so I'm going to still lead the Whimsicott. If he goes Hitmon top, I'm going to protect turn one so he doesn't take out my, my Tailwind user. He might go Chandelure. I could go Fish. I could totally just go Fish right off the bat. Chewy Scarf. He should be able to outspeed most unless he sets up a Tailwind. But do we see him going, uh... Duraludon? Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to go Sylveon? I know. I see my time, guys. I see it. I know you guys are screaming at the screen like, Jeans! The time! <laughs> Get it! I'm going to bring the fish in the back. No, I have the fish. Let's go Rotom. Let's go Rotom. Fourth final spot. Got that off with last second. With the last second. I feel like Rotom could potentially come up a little bit bigger. But I kind of picked them as last instinct. Maybe I should have picked the Duraludon. But, dude, I feel like I never have enough time. I feel like I never have enough time to pick teams. I feel like I'm always looking at it. Like, the first 20 to 30 seconds, I'm, I'm just standing. I'm like, okay, what's he have? What items do I think he's rolling out with? And then I, then it comes down, I look at the clock. It's like 10 seconds off. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, click, click, click. Just click the Pokemon. But I just go Duraludon into the Whimsicott. I go the same. I thought I brought my Sylveon. Did I bring my Sylveon? Did I bring my Sylveon? Oh, yeah, we do have the Sylveon. Wait, I thought I brought my Rotom. It didn't pick my team, but I actually do like this team. This was, this is kind of like the team that I wanted. I just said, maybe I should have brought the route on over to Rotom. I guess I didn't click it in time, but we're chilling, we're chilling. We are chilling. See, why? See that 30 seconds left thing? That should totally pop up when you pick a team. Um, bum, 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 bum. We go body press. Body press, body press. Hmm. I should use your defense. Ah, uh, la, 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 la. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. I'm just rolling to a flash cannon on you, and I'm gonna set up the tailwind. I'm gonna set up the tailwind. Is he gonna go into a fake tears here? I hope he doesn't. Oh, he's D maxing. He's D maxing, D maxing. But guys, you are hanging out with me in this third and final battle. Give me a little bit of hashtag first place squad in the comment section down below. I'd love to know who hangs out with me and watches the videos all the way through. That's again, hashtag first place squad in the comment section down below. But it goes D Don, D maxing. D Don, D, D maxing. We're gonna see. We gotta see a double tailwind, right? Double tailwind coming in. Actually, that, this is mine. I thought that was his tailwind. Let's see. Is he going for it? He's gotta be going for it. Or is he fake team? He's fake team. By the Raladon. No. <laughs> the Raladon's gone, guys. I hate to say it. The Raladon's gone. Oh, my Raladon goes first though. That's tight. Nice. We win the RNG battle. We bring it down to his sash. Bring it down to his sash, and we can say bye bye, to my Don. Rest easy, buddy. That's easy, my dude. 
<laughs> right, hold on out of here. Fake tier me. I have the tailwind, uh, blah, 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 but he's just gonna set up a tailwind. That's why fake tears is so good to start off because we have prankster. We do have prankster, so he'll probably set up the tailwind this turn. We know how things like for go Sylveon. I might D Max my Sylveon. I think I have to. Dragonfish is poo poo in D Max form. We're gonna D Max the Sylveon to get rolling from there. He does have a steel move, which is rather scary. I could fake tier it and hope that I outspeed. I think I might be able to. But we're gonna go for a max strike here. Boop, 130 into a fake tier. You wanna play with me, buddy? You wanna play with me? I'll come out with big evolution Sylveon. What's good? What is good? Ooh wee, ooh wee. But like I said in the beginning of the video, the question of the day is would you guys like to help me build teams? And seriously, if you guys wanna help, like I said, just DM me over on Instagram if you don't have Instagram. Just leave something in the comment section down below. We'll figure something out. Because I have tons of team ideas. Like, I have a Blastoid team that I have written down. A Venusaur team. I'm working on an Incineroar team. I just don't really have time to build them. Considering I stream a good bit. And I'm recording a ton. And I and I go to school as well. So, I just have a lot on my plate. So, it would be a big help. It would be a big help. Like, I have the team set up and all that. I just need somebody to, like, build it up. Tailwind's going to pop. Come on, Sylveon. I'll speed this thing and dump on it. Go, Sylveon. No! <laughs> Eat it up, Sylvie. Ah, girl, Sylveon eats it up. So we are not faster. A potential KO here with a minus two. A minus two stab shot? It's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. This thing is like, I don't know if we're gonna get the KO, but we'll see. I know my wounds got wild speed, so if we put him down really, really low. That's big damage, let's go. Let's go, Sylveon. Coming up big here, that's actually huge. That is honestly huge to get that KO on that Doral down right then and there. Like, I needed that. Good thing that fake tears coming up clutch. I love fake tears. I also love charm. I think charm's a great move, especially for like uh, on a prankster worm scout for like trick room teams. Like when they're rolling out with Rhyperior, if you could just charm that thing up and minus two to that, that's huge. That is huge on a Rhyperior. It kind of counters them from not setting up too too much with like a weakness policy and all that. But it goes to the Chandel, the Chandelure. Uh, I'm gonna strike that thing. Ooh, no, I'm not. No, I am not. Yes, I'm, I'm still gonna strike it. I'm gonna take out his Whimsicott here. Just tell him to get out of here. Tell him to get out of here, kid. See, he might trigger my uh, Sash here with a, with a Heat Wave. Let's see. Let's see. But I have my fish in the back. I have my fish in the back, and we know the Chandelure is not Focus Sash. Moonblast comes in. Ooh, I get the speed. I get the RNG speed. Bang, bye, Whimsicott. Whimsicott is gone. It goes down to a little bit of 3v2. He might actually take me out. Heat Wave's gonna pop. Eat up, Sylvie. Sylveon, I love you. I love you, Sylveon. We get a nice little max strike off. It's not very effective, but still, or max starfall because it turns into it with the uh, with our ability. A nice little damage. That's actually not bad damage at all. Um, bum, 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 bum. like I know my fish will outspeed that thing. I think it will outspeed all these things, even in the tailwind. Uh, heat wave's gonna roll out here. Potential double KO. I think I'm gonna max guard here and a little bit. To get off a quick attack. I'm just gonna protect. I'm just going to protect here. Oh, this is gonna come close. This is gonna come down to the wire. He actually might have me here. I feel like that Togekiss might be able to eat up a fish's man. Both my Pokemon will be able to outspeed him. Actually, mm, it's gonna be close because he's gonna have an extra tailwind to him. He's gonna have an extra tailwind to him. Right? Because he went fake tears in the tailwind. So he'll, he'll have one more tailwind turn. But my quick attack will definitely come out here. That's my plan, just do a little bit of damage, because he, he would just take out my Sylveon right here and there. But I might as well max guard, play a little bit slower, and then get the, what's it called? Then get the quick attack off, just to do a little bit of damage. Like, a little, little bit of damage is better than nothing. That's some gleam pops out here. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have hit with my Whimsicott. Maybe I should have hit with my Whimsicott. But does he outspeed my Whimsicott? Like, Whimsicott's rather fast, but I feel like a Tailwind Toe Kiss for Shannon Lord will give, me, give them the ban. Quick attack, who do I go after? Oh, this is coming down. <laughs> this is coming down, dude. Uh, moon blasting. Oh, no, no, no. No, Sylveon does not outspeed, so we have to go into a quick attack. Into that. I feel like moon blast is just a better option because their tailwind should end. Let me let me check real quick. If their tailwind ends, I'll know my Dracofish definitely outspeeds regardless. They have a tailwind for one turn. There's really no point of going into the tailwind. I might as well go for something. I could fake tier, but. Wait, let's go for. Wait, 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 wait. 
No, no, no. You know what? Just, just gonna go for a Moonblast. We're just gonna go for a Moonblast. <laughs> Look at that comes in here. Maybe I should have fake tiered on the Togekiss and then go into the what's it called? The quick attack. Just do a little bit more damage, but. Mm. He quits me. This game is broken. That's why I'm losing now. <laughs> but we have the fish. It's potential double KO. Do I have to go after the kiss here? That's when theme pops. I feel like I have to go after the toga kiss and potentially get the KO. This is oh man, it's coming down. It's coming down here. Draco fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draco fish. Yeah, yeah. We're going to the crunch or the fish's run. Fish's run is way better. Oh, I always thought it was 80 or uh, 70. Oh my god, it's 85, dude. This thing's an absolute unit. Like, I got the speed advantage. Rock side could. <laughs> I think stab would be better. I think we have to take this thing out right here. I think we have to take out the kiss here. I feel like we can eat up a shot from the Chandelure, just not from the Toad Kiss. Oof! Stop it! Oh my god, dude, this is gonna come down close. This is gonna be close. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take out this kiss here. Fish is ran. Take him out! Yes! Let's go, fish! Let's go, fish! All we have to do is eat up a shot here. Eat up this heat wave. He's choice in the heat wave. He's gotta be choice. Let's see what it went for a Shadow Ball. Draco fish, my dude! Gonna put us on a three? -er? A little bit of three win streak here? A little bit of three no action? Dude, this team's tight. Nice, dude. The Draco fish is so good to have in the back. He hits like a truck, dude. Just dumped on that Togekiss. Just took on a little 2v1. This guy threw his control. He's like, stupid Draco fish. Why'd they make him so good? GG that guy, though. Let's get it. Here is one last look at this team. I found this team to be very, very fun to play with and very, very good at the same time. I think I'm going to be using it on the ladder a little bit more when I stream and all that. Just see if I can push or how high I can push with this team. I like everything about it. I like the Whimsicott, Draco Fish. That's always a good combo. I like the Duraludon. I like the item choice with the Soul Fest instead of the Life Orb because we have the fake tears with it. That Sylveon actually is a beast in here. You can set up with the Whimsicott, go Hyper Voice right off the bat or fake tier into a Hyper Voice. Big damage. You got that Conquador. Who we got to show off with that big drain punch coming out on that T-Tar to knock him out. Weakness policy T-Tar and he was Dynamax. So that was big damage for him. And then we have this Rotom over here who is just nice. Rotom's always nice to have. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.